Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on this Husqvarna all-wheel drive lawnmower. It ultimately needed wheel bearings, as you can see here, that are not on the drawing anywhere. And we're going to find out at the end why they failed the way they did. So let's get it in the shop here. There's a bracket under there in the center with three or four really small pulleys to help direct that belt front and back and around the crankshaft because it goes past the crankshaft twice. One side, it's driven by the crankshaft, and the, uh, on the way back, it has to go around it. So there's a, there's a bracket in there with a bunch of pulleys, and over time, those pulleys freeze up. This also had this cable that goes in the, the back here. That rotted away because grass got in there uh, behind, this, behind this door. <coughs> inside of there next to the, the discharge chute there brass got in there and the cable rotted away to engage the cell propel and the owner didn't even realize that it wasn't working anymore see if i can get this up in the air a little here see this wheel is really loose and the the one in the front there has some play too So yeah, the noise is definitely mostly coming from the back wheel here. When I lifted the back up and the front were both turning, it was fairly quiet. Then the left front stopped turning and it got noisy. So we're going to get both of those wheels off, probably take all four of them off. And I'll look at the pulley, uh, the belt underneath, see what kind of wear that has. And then I'll end up sharpening the blade. And the filter is getting there too. So yeah, I'm definitely going to put a new filter on it, but this is what happens when you don't change them. You know, they're down here where all the grass is and all the dirt. And, uh, you know, this filter was new two years ago. It's held up pretty good. It can still breathe. It's running okay. But it's definitely going to need a new filter there. So let's see if we can get these wheels off real quick. Well, we are missing a tooth right here. We're getting some good wear on this guy right here and that's cracked open too this actual gear doesn't look bad but i don't know i'll have to look and see if you could even get that separate i think the wheel is just going to naturally come with that really right now i'm just trying to get together a list of parts to order so we're going to need all four gears looks like they should all be the same size and uh i'll pull the other wheels off but probably going to end up doing all four wheels also. As they say, just go ahead and change whatever it needs. So I'm going to check these pulleys under here. And they're all spinning good. Belt feels all right. Yeah, we got some ball bearings falling out of somewhere here. Where would there be a bearing back here? Oh, they're falling right out of there. We'll throw one of these guys back on the front here. So yeah, right now, like I said, just checking this out, see what I need to order. Well, this side looks like almost nowhere. And that's where the berries are coming from. There's the rest of them. This bearing right here is gone. That's where all the little bearings were falling out of. Falling right out of there. And it looks like that bearing is part of this whole bracket here. So I'm going to have to really look at the parts breakdown. See how I need to order that. It might be a whole shaft with the gearbox. So on this one, I'm going to have to get a list of all the parts and the prices. And really make up an estimate before I even order anything and, and see if they want to spend that much. So that's where this one is for now. Got the parts, got wheels, got the axle bearings here, and two drive gears that were worn out. Two other, the two other ones really didn't need to be changed. But here's the two drive gears. 
This here is what the wheel bearings look like. There's a there's a snap ring that goes on the back. Uh, like these come in a two pack the way I bought them. So I got all four of those. Take this off, there's this little pin right here. You need to not lose that. And it doesn't even want to come out. All right, we're going to soak that and come back to it. Mushroom that over. Look at that, it came up. It's moving. That only hurt a little bit, but it's off. That's oh, not even bleeding yet. persuasion and starts moving. All right, now let's see about putting this together. Hold that up there so it's lined up with the hole. We put this in. And we get it just right. And the holes line up. I'm gonna put this screw back in. Get that started. That's one. Now, why is that so floppy loose? So this needs to be secured. Needs to be tight with that. So is it possible we can put a washer in there? didn't look much different except for that hub then that hub's out in the middle of nowhere I'm gonna have to see if I can find some kind of shims to take up some space and tighten that up to where that snap ring is gonna hold it from flopping around because it's not going to engage very well with that wow it snapped right in there so you can see that's a very precision fit it, it fit right in there you can move the adjuster. Only a little bit of movement there and really it's up and down. It's not, it's not flopping around at all. 
So let's get this adjusted where I can put the bolts in. That washer goes into the wheel. I accidentally had it laying here with all these other parts. Right, you need to be centered. So when we put the gear on, it totally engages here. the one that you need to hold on to because if it pops off you may not find it turns nice it's not flopping around it's moving a little bit but that's just everything flexing it, it doesn't have any play so I believe that that's going to make a good repair now I just need to do that three more times which I'm not going to record that you can you can see what happened there but let's take a look at this bearing here on the front shaft So this here is the wheel bearing that I, I'm replacing all four of these. Now I have the bolts out of this bracket already, but uh, that, that's what happens with these bearings. They're, they're down there where the grass is wet, and uh, they're, they're just a cheap bearing. They're not sealed up or anything. But this is the number I found. These are not on the drawings that I found on the parts breakdown. It doesn't show these. It shows that whole assembly, which no longer available, of course. But these are the replacement ones that I found. And these are the original ones. And like I said, that slot, you can't tell there, but that slot's at a different spot. So that's why I had a had to do a little bit of modification, but it's going to work out just right. So ultimately what happened here with this mower, the owner was told when they bought it to take their garden hose and wash it off every time after they use it. And I really believe that that's what led to all the rust on the bearings because they really should not get like that under normal use. So, you know, I told her when I took it back, that's when I found out that uh, take an air hose or something and blow the grass off. Don't don't get everything all wet because it, it normally under normal conditions, they, it won't get like that. So I really think that's what led to all this problem, all, making all this rust and wearing out the bearings. So in the next clip here, I'm going to show you the bearings and the replacement ones are a little bit different, maybe a different manufacturer. And it's the only ones I could find, and the, the spacing was off for the slot. And uh, I found some shims at Tractor Supply that worked just right. So here we have the new part and the old part. And what I'm trying to show is 
where the ring goes, where the snap ring fits, the old one on the left is closer to the shoulder, the part that I'm holding. And the new one has a little bit more space there. So we need to take up that space to make the shaft tight so the wheel doesn't flop around. So I bought some washers at Tractor Supply, which are these here. They call them machinery bushings. And the inside diameter is uh, 7 eighths. And then the thickness, they call it 14 gauge. But they look like regular washers. They're, they're stamped out. You know, these, these washers are just stamped. So they have, well, on the back side, there's a, some high spots, depending on how clean they are. You know, they're not they're not totally flat. This side here is nice and flat. This side here has, has some high spots. So, I had already pre-fit this, all these parts, and you weren't able to turn the adjuster. I had a, I had a, to fight with it a little bit to get the snap ring in, but it was all together. So I decided I was going to clean up all this rust on each of these parts, because all, all that rust builds up a little bit and makes it a really tight fit. And this part here, I need to wire brush this a little bit more, but this one has the most rust on it. So I probably gained the most clearance by cleaning this piece here. But I'm going to I'm going to wire brush this one a little bit more. And then uh, then we'll fit it together again, see what happens. So I did the left front wheel. That took all of five minutes that one came right apart the bearing came out there was no rust on anything I put it back together I didn't have to grind or or sand or wire brush anything now this here is the right rear and right now I'm fighting with this pin that pin has to come off to get that bearing out of there and uh, yeah sure you put heat on it well the only heat I have is from a flame and really, it's only a, a map gas torch. It might work, but, you know, there's plastic around here. There's grass everywhere. And this is a wooden garage, so heat is really my last resort. So I got this soaking with PB Blaster. Okay, so after days of soaking that pin in PB Blaster and finally using my air hammer to get the pin out, the rest of that side there, that corner, went well. All right, finally finished with this thing. Got the oil changed, new air filter in, all the drivetrain is fixed. Let's see what happens. or anything like that so this one's a success after many days of fighting with rust now back to the owner everyone's happy I go on vacation